Okay, folks, we're going to deal with the key of E, the three major chords in the key of E. So here we go. You're going to start out on the first fret on the G string. And then um, you're going to come up to the A string on the second fret. And then right underneath that, you're going to go to the D string on the second fret. There's your E chord. Then you're going to slide this finger up. One above it, one below it to get your A chord. Slide it back for your E chord. Now here's the one that uh, throws people off a little bit. It's a B7. And I'll explain why you uh, normally people don't use a B. Um, but B, anyway, so here we go. So now you're, you're, you're in this position here. And you're going to just take this finger and move it up one string. And then the, this finger goes down one string. And then this finger goes down to the, the E string. That's a B7th chord. Hopefully you can see that. You're on the very bottom string, skip a string. So it's every other one with these three fingers. And then this finger is going to be on the D string on the first fret. And that's what most people use. For a B chord when they see that when it calls for a B chord um, the reason is is because to play a B chord uh, becomes a bar chord so you can play it like this if you want if you want a true B you can play it like this some people might even try this or something like uh, this even. I've seen this done before. This is how I do it. But to tell you the truth, I use the B7th whenever I can.